West to Halmin, Freon, and welcome to yet another video. This is yours truly, European Law, the channel for all things fantasy. And apparently, we've got some breaking news, or rumors, whatever we want to call it, concerning uh, the upcoming TV show from Amazon Prime called uh, The Rings of Power. And apparently, it concerns orcs or goblins, and I am doing this solely and exclusively for you, my dear viewers, because I know how much you enjoy these kinds of videos. But let me first tell you how much, at uh, this point of time, I care about uh, the upcoming uh, The Rings of Power by Amazon Prime Video. I went to walk the dog today, and the dog made a turd. And I had to pick up the turd and throw it out, because I am a decent human being, after all. And I care about uh, the turd that the dog made much more about, or then about, the upcoming The Rings of Power by Amazon Prime Video. But nevertheless, let's get into it. This news is already a day old. Oh my god, look at that. That's how much I care. So, uh, kudos to Fellowship of Fans who tweeted these news, and uh, I, I, I thank them for this. Yeah, so let's get into it. Everyone seems to believe orcs are extinct and were all destroyed in the First Age. When Bronwyn's village finds out that orcs are back on the menu, boys, it's a pretty big shock. Well, I do appreciate the creativity uh, when writing this tweet, I have to give them that. Nobody cares about Bronwyn, or at least I don't. Exclusive! Just like in The Hobbit and The Lord of the Rings, there will be an important orc character with lines and a story arc. He is said to look incredibly similar to this orc from The Lord of the Rings. He will be one of the Adar's commanders. Alright. I love the work that Weta did uh, on Peter Jackson's The Lord of the Rings. Oh, look at that. Exclusive. There are two different types of orcs. Some orcs were much stronger and bigger than the second set of orcs who were smaller and acted as scouts. And here we've got uh, the orc who in the film bore the name of uh, the most famous Balrog, actually, Gothmog. Um, here, well, that, that, was, that was a cool character. Exclusive. In one of the scenes when orcs are originally scouting the village, the effects of the sun weigh on the orcs with some getting burned. I do appreciate adding of this particular picture over here. So, what do I think about that? Um, you are going to make a a version of of something that you call the Lord of the Rings, Amazon, which is not really the Lord of the Rings, but you call it the Lord of the Rings, and uh, it is of course understandable that they are going to include orcs or goblins. What do I think their role is going to be? In a normal world, I would say that they are going to be the bad guys. That they are going to look like a, a, a true orcs and goblins should look like. Which is swarthy. With, um, you know, features that look orcish. But at this point of time, I suppose they might end up being uh, the oppressed um, group. The oppressed race that is being treated badly by the evil, imperialistic, right-wing Numenorians, or even elves, who knows? Uh, anything might happen with Amazon Prime Video. It might even happen that Olorin or Gandalf will fall from the skies and be the Meteor Man, which is one of the theories that people are talking about, which is, of course, a preposterous fact. That's impossible, but, you know, once again, why not possible? It's Amazon. Everything goes. As many people say on the internet, It's fantasy, so anything goes. We don't have to take into consideration the source material. We can poo on Tolkien's legacy. Because it's fantasy. And it's 2022. And it's a new world. We have to reshape Tolkien into our own image. All right then, folks, as uh, they like to say, what do you think about this particular news? Let me know in the comments down below. And as always, thank you very much for watching. Namariye.